because of that. It's actually never... The C-section shelf or the overhang is a common appearance of a uh, post-surgical scar when the scar itself is tighter than the tissues above and below it, creating a shelf-like appearance. Can you fix it, quote-unquote? Well, if, the, if this appearance is being caused by swelling or tight scar tissue, then yeah, scar massage can absolutely help. Um, and if it's caused by early, early swelling, compression can help. That's why I advocate for compression. Um, I, I want everyone to hear this. The appearance of your scar and wanting to change it is not a vanity thing, especially if the way it looks tells you what actually needs to still be done for it to heal properly. So if things are puckered and stuck down, it's a good idea to actually do some scar massage so please sign up for that free scar massage workshop especially in your zero to six months postpartum So hopefully those give you lots of ideas, but I've also been getting several comments about, well, actually, I've already tried these stretches or these exercises, and they cause me pain. So there's two things that I want to say to that. Um, one, I don't intend this um, video to be all-encompassing. Like, I can't possibly give you every, like, um, answer to how to solve this situation or every move or exercise that you should do. But the concept of you want to lengthen the tight muscles, strengthen the muscles going the opposite direction, and work on turning on glute max so it's doing the work is a really important sequence. That will solve almost all incidences of this kind of pain, but you might not be able to go in those steps. You might have to skip around. Like, you might need to go the opposite direction before you can stretch. And also, if you're somebody who's had this problem for a long time and you've done a lot of stretching, you might be irritating the muscles. So that was the second thing that I really wanted to point out. If you've already tried stretching these muscles and it's not working for you, then you might be irritating the muscles by trying to do this. So try something different. Try strengthening going the opposite direction. Try turning on your glute max. It's likely that at some point you will come back and find that stretching these muscles does work for you, but maybe it doesn't. Maybe you go about it a different way. But don't keep doing the thing that irritates it. Find something different. Find a different route in. Connect your brain to your glutes. Strengthen the muscles that go the other direction. Unload those little muscles that are working too hard. Monday. Two quick things before I run into work. One, that was my last positive story that I have to share. So if you've been holding out or if you've been, you know, considering wanting to share a little bit of your story, it doesn't have to be long or it can be you processing it all and writing it all out. It can just be a little win. It can be anything, anything that you think um, would give someone else encouragement. So if you want to share, please let me know. Just message me. Second thing is I wanted to just share a little story with you. My husband and I were reminiscing yesterday about his very first engineering job ever. He was contracted to design a speculum for gynecological exams. And it was one that he designed to be more comfortable for the person experiencing the exam. So instead of it opening this way, it had like a four check and it opened like this. And he was like, how weird is it that that was my very first engineering contract and here I am helping women again <laughs> he basically does like all my background stuff for the company like the finances and all of that but anyways we just we both feel like through our lives we've wondered 
and questioned like what God's plan was or um, you know sometimes you just reflect and you're like I just don't know where I'm going or what's happening and I feel like it's all coming to fruition with you all here uh, so thank you for being here on that note a couple days ago I had someone message me this is the first time this has happened where they said that some of the things that I share um, don't align with their belief system and they were going to unfollow me because of that. And it was mainly that occasionally I talk about my faith. This is definitely a, a pelvic floor page, but it is a public sharing of a very personal life. And to me, that's part of my